Network. We are reaching you live from the main campus of the Federal University of Technology, Mina, Niger State, North Central Nigeria, venue of the 25th convocation ceremony of the institution this Saturday, 27 February 2016. I am Rose Gia. The main campus is situated in Gidangkwano community, kilometer 14, Minabide Road. We are broadcasting from the main campus, like I said, for the confirmation of the first degrees, higher degrees, postgraduate diplomas, and presentation of prizes. One unique feature also slated for today is the investiture of the third chancellor of the university, in person of the chairman, Abia State and Southeast Traditional Rulers Council, His Royal Majesty, Eze Berechi Ndik, JP. He is the Eze Udawan of Ngboko Ngwa Amese. Situated Students in their numbers have presented themselves for this memorable event, supported by their parents from across the country who have come to identify with their long-term investment rated successful. Established in 1983, the Federal University of Technology Mina has grown in leaps and bounds. As the expansion of infrastructure took place academically schools grew from four to eight graduates of FUT Mina also grew from 22 during the first graduation ceremony in 1990 to over 3,400 this 25th convocation ceremony between 1990 and today Graduates churned out by the Federal University of Technology totals 1,805,900. Having been groomed to meet the engineering and technological needs of the country, Federal University of Technology graduates have, along with their counterparts across Nigeria, been meeting the research and industrial needs
intrinsic recession, your intrinsic recession, led by Malam A.M. Mohammed, Principal Assistant Registrar, Councilman Council Matters. Gentlemen, please let us remain standing as we take the university and call. The university and
at this point in time, I have the double honor, the privilege to call on the registrar of this great university, Mrs. Victoria N. Polo, to take us through the process of convocation ceremony. Thank you. I want to call on the university imam, Malam Bashir, and the university pastor, Dr. Mike Onimole, to give us the opening prayers. A'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajim Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. O oh Allah, our merciful Lord, the creator of the heavens and the earth, and all that is in between, we have gathered here as your servants and slaves. For our graduates, we pray that you, Allah Ta'ala, will bless their certificates, their parents, the teachers and staff of this university, the government and the society have invested hugely on these students. We humble ourselves to you, O oh Allah. We ask you to bless all these investments. We ask you, Allah Ta'ala, to bless their certificate so that it can be used positively for our community. We pray to you, Allah Ta'ala, to grant us peace in our university, peace in our country, and peace in our society. We humble ourselves to you, Allah Ta'ala, to continue to guide us, to guide our students, to guide our leaders, and to guide us all so that we will do only the right things. O Allah Ta'ala, what we are passing through in this country, we humble ourselves to you. We are your slaves and servants. We seek for your guidance. We seek for your assistance. O oh Allah, assist us. We humble ourselves. We ask you by your beautiful names and by the opening chapter of the glorious Quran to accept our supplications. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Malik yawmiddin. Iyaka na'abud wa iyaka nasta'een. Ihdina sirat al-mustaqeem. Sirat al-lazina an'amta alayhim. غير المكذوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين. O Allah, as we have gathered here, those that have come from far and near, we humble ourselves to you, O Allah. We ask you to protect them so that they will go back to their to their respective destinations safely. We ask you to guide all this all this celebration and ceremony so that we will gather here safely and disperse safely. O Allah, protect us, guide us, and be with us. برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين يا رب العالمين ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا يا مولانا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم ووفقنا إلى مرضاتك برحمتك يا رب العالمين سبحان ربك رب العزة أما يسفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين Almighty God our Father, we thank you, we exalt you, we magnify you this morning in the name of Jesus. Our Father and our God, we say, let your name be magnified in this assembly. Let your name be magnified over Niger State. Let your name be magnified over Nigeria. Father, we thank you, we ask that let your kingdom come and let your will, which is good and acceptable and perfect, be done in this meeting and in our nation in Jesus' name. Our Father and our God, we thank you for this gathering. We thank you because you are the chief security over this meeting. We thank you, O oh God, for all who are gathered here. Lord, from the administration and the representation of the authority of our nation, we thank you for every one of us here. And we pray that all that will be done here in the confirmment of degrees, 
Lord, you will grant that everything will be done to your glory and honor. We ask that nothing will go amiss. All who have come from afar, relatives and friends and celebrants and dignitaries, we ask you would take them back safely in Jesus' name. We plead for the administration of our university. We ask particularly for wisdom and counsel. We ask that everything done in this university will be done in the fear and righteousness of our God. Father, we thank you. We commit everything we will do here and ask that the Holy Spirit himself will order the entire process. In Jesus' name we are prayed. The convocation has just started. The prayers made to the Almighty God. Like I said, the Federal University of Technology, FU Termina, started in 1983 with just four schools, namely School of Agriculture and Agricultural Technology, School of Engineering and Engineering Technology, School of Environmental Technology, and the School of Science and Technology Education. Thereafter, the postgraduate school came up and then followed by the School of Physical Sciences, the School of Life Sciences, the School of Information and Technology, and finally, the School of Entrepreneurship and Management Technology, prepared to groom students, to groom the students of the FUT, preparatory to the graduation like this, when they will be going into the labor market. So they will not be going out as employers of labor, most of them from that school, the School of Entrepreneurship and Management Technology. They will be employers of labor and not running after the white collar jobs. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I declare this assembly open as a convocation of the Federal University of Technology, MENA, constituted for the purpose of admission to first degrees, award of prizes, postgraduate diplomas, and admission to master's and PhD degrees. provide that the Chancellor shall preside over all meetings of the convocation, held for conferring degrees, diplomas, and certificates. Therefore, in order to properly constitute this convocation, it is my honor to request the Vice Chancellor to invite the visitor for the formal installation of the Chancellor. Vice Chancellor. Will the Chancellor designate, please stand up. I hereby call on the Chancellor designate to please proceed to the dais for his installation. It is my honor to invite the visitor to perform the installation of the Chancellor. Your Royal Majesty Eberechi Mwaneyadi Dick JP Ezeudo one of Ngoko Ngwa Amase, will you pledge that throughout your tenure of office you will uphold, preserve jointly and severally the statutes and laws of the Federal University of Technology, MINA, completely, faithfully, 
without favor as much as it lies within you? I pledge that throughout my tenure of office, I will uphold and preserve jointly and severally the status and the law of the Federal Invasion of Technology leader completely, faithfully, without favor as much as it lies with me. In accordance with the powers conferred on me as the visitor to the Federal University of Technology, MINA, I formally install you as the Chancellor of the Federal University of Technology, MINA. invite the visitor. He will be assisted by the vice chancellor to rob the chancellor in his new regalia. The Senate and Council of Federal University of Technology, Minam, has found the Chancellor worthy in character and learning to be conferred with the honorary degree, Doctor of Science, Honorary Counsel. I hereby call on the Registrar to read the citation of the new Chancellor. Chancellor, sir, this is the citation of the Chancellor of Federal University of Technology. His Royal Majesty, Eze, Eberechi, and Dick. Sir, Napoleon Hiss says, when, you desire, when your desires are strong, you appear to possess superhuman powers to achieve. Indeed, the man standing before us this morning is an embodiment of that saying. He is an acclaimed farmer, an astute businessman, a sagacious administrator, a traditional ruler of record. He is His Royal Majesty, Eze Eberechi and Dick, Eze Udo One of Umboko Ungwa Amaze Autonomous Community, Chairman, Abia State Council of Traditional Rulers. Chairman, Southeast Council of Traditional Rulers, and the Chancellor of Federal University of Technology in Milan. His Royal Majesty was born on January 15, 1947, to the family of late Mr. Dick S. S. Cholo and late Mrs. Eindia Susanna Dick of Akoku Village. Obingwa local government area of Abia State. He had his primary education at the local authority school, AKA between 1957 and 1960, before proceeding to Umoro, Umoro Group Schools. 
where he obtained his first school living certificate in 1964. Thereafter, he ventured into farming and other business activities where he carved a niche for himself among his peers in the community at that time. In his quest for further education, his Royal Majesty enrolled for professional courses at the famous Institute of Independent Marketing Management of Nigeria and graduated in 1985. He was elected councillor representing Ogoku Otugwa Ward 3 in the then Obioma Ngwa local government area of Imo State in 1987 where he served as a supervisory councillor for agriculture. During this period, His Royal Majesty, Eze Eberechi Dick, initiated several agricultural programs that, that impacted positively on the lives of his people. In recognition of his commitment and accepted service to his people, he was confirmed with a chieftaincy title of Akurolu of Umboku into work in the Asian Kingdom in 1989. His Royal Majesty, Eze Eberechi G, was nominated as a traditional ruler of Umboku Umbwa Amaze Autonomous Community in 1998 and was recognized as a traditional ruler that is Eze Udo One of Umboku Umbwa Amaze Autonomous Community by Colonel Anthony Uzoma Obi, the then military administrator of Abia State in May 1999. His Royal Majesty became a member of Abia State Council of Traditional Rulers in 2009 and was also elected as chairman of Bimboa Council of Traditional Rulers in the same year. From 2010 to early 20, 2013, he was appointed second deputy chairman, Abia State Council of Traditional Rulers, and became chairman of Abia State Council of Traditional Rulers in 2013. His Royal Majesty, Eze Eberechi N. Dick, is also the chairman of Ugwa Royal Father Supreme Council, the Apex Traditional Rural Council in Ugwa Land. At the national level, his Royal Majesty is an executive member of National Council of Traditional Rulers of Nigeria and the first deputy chairman, Southeast South South Traditional Rulers Council. He has, over the years, had personal development and through his professional and other connections, nurtured, asset, nurtured effectively effective assets within the highest levels of government, the public service, and the private sector. His Royal Majesty is a nation builder and a unifier. He has worked assiduously for the sustenance of peace and unity among different ethnic groups in his community and Abia State at large. His love for his people and his commitment to their physical and spiritual well-being led His Royal Majesty to undertake numerous community development projects, including sponsorship of evangelical activities, funding of community electrification projects, provision of farm implements and inputs, award of scholarships to deserving students at secondary and university level, just to mention a few. His Royal Majesty is currently the Managing Director of Everechuku and Sons Nigeria Limited, with branches all over the country. He is a recipient of the several national and international awards. Based on his meritorious service to the development of his country and Nigeria at large, his Royal Majesty, Eze Eberechi N.D., was appointed by the federal, federal government in 20, 2015 as the third chancellor of Federal University of Technology, Mina. In that spirit, therefore, the Council and Senate of Federal University of Technology, Mina, resolved to award His Royal Majesty, Eze Eberechi N.D., 
JP Enze Udo one of Ubo who moved Angwa Amasi the honorary degree of Doctor of Science. Vice Chancellor Sam, it is my honor and privilege to present to you for the confirmation of the degree of Doctor of Science, Honorary Causa of Federal University of Technology on His Royal Majesty, Eze Edoreji N.D. Eze Udo One of Uboku Ungwa Amazi Autonomous Community. By the authority of Senate, I confer on you the degree of Doctor of Science, Honorary Kosa of Federal University of Technology. Congratulations. That was the installation of His Royal Majesty Eze Bereche Dick, JP, as the third chancellor of the Federal University of Technology. He has pledged to uphold justly the status of the institution. He is expected to preside over all meetings of the convocation held for conferring degrees, diploma certificates. He has also been awarded an honorary degree, honoris causa, doctor of science. He's graduating over 3,000 students for the ordinary degree, the postgraduate degrees, and we have a total of 32 first-class candidates from the Federal University of Technology, MENA. We have 707 second-class upper students. We have 1,290 second-class lower division and 638 third class students. And for the past degree, we have 74. And now, respectively, call upon the Vice Chancellor to hand over the convocation to the Chancellor. Vice Chancellor. Sir. serve my term as a temporary chairman of convocation, I now hand over the convocation to the chancellor. His Excellency, the visitor, President Muhammad Buhari, GCFR, Commander-in-Chief of Armed Forces of Federal Republic of Nigeria, who is a visitor represented by 
Mr. H.G. T. Tiga. His Excellency, Governor of Niger State, Alaja Ruba Kasani Bello, members of the National Assembly here present, Chief Judge of the Niger State, other members of Federal and State Judiciary here present, Honorable Minister of Education, represented by Honorable Minister of Science and Technology, Dr. Ben Nayono, Executive Secretary, National Universities Commission, represented by Chancellor of Federal University of Technology, Mina, and Chairman of the State South and Southeast Council of Traditional Rulers, His Majesty, as a very ND, JP. Chancellor of Afamia Wolowo University, Elif, and Chairman of the State Traditional Rulers Council. His Royal Highness, Estulupe, Alad Dr. Yaya Babaka, CFR. Our Royal Host, Amy of Mina, His Royal Highness, Alaji Umar Faru, Bahon, other Royal Fathers here present, Royal Chancellor, Vice Chancellors of other universities, and heads of other tertiary institutions here present, heads of military and paramilitary forces here present, former Vice Chancellors here present, members of council, Senate and Congregation of Federal Members of Council, Senate and Congregation of Federal University of Technology, Mina, other members of staff and students of Tut Mina. Our graduate students, their parents and guardians, distinguished invite guests. Gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. My address, it is with great joy that I welcome you all to the 25th Convocation Ceremony of this great university. Just a, a moment ago, I had the honor and privilege of being formally installed as Chancellor of this university and conferred with the Doctors of Science, Honorary Kosa. I sincerely wish to express my profound gratitude to the visitor of the university, President Mohammed Gari, GCFR, for appointing me the Chancellor of this reputable university. I also thank the Council and the Senate of University for me with a degree of Doctor of Science, Honorary Kosa. I promise to discharge my duty to the best of my abilities and within the confines of the law regarding the position of university chancellor. My new position as a chancellor of Federal University of Technology will afford me the much needed opportunity to use my weight of Wealth of experience and network to impart positive and academic excellence and infrastructure development of this university. I promise to build on the lofty achievements of the university, university's past chancellor, and to be a bridge builder that will promote harmonious relationship between the university and the host communities, maintaining peace and provide leadership and direction for the university. It is my fervent belief that my tenure we witness on presented peace, stability, and growth in this university. Today's convocation is a unique event in the sense that the graduates will be the first that I will confer with degree and diploma as a chancellor of the university. I want to congratulate you on your achievements. I feel this sense of pride to be here with you all on this auspicious occasion. We are some of you who have been found worthy and character and learning will be the sword with certificate as a reward for your academic exploit. My dear graduates, you have surmounted all the challenges you experienced during the course of your studentship to be among the choosing ones. The sleepless night and cutlet pack of candles 
that you vote have brought you recognition with enough dignity seated here today to honor you. In a very special way, I wish to congratulate you all on the milestone of your graduation and urge you all to join the Alumni Association of this. This university, so that you can contribute your own quota to the development of the university. Remember your alumni matter as you sail from into the world and employ you to always protect the good name and image of Futuna. As you may be aware, this university was established to provide much needed manpower for the development of the country in the areas of science and technology. And the university has remained committed to this mandate. To this, I wish to congratulate the University Governing Council every led by Professor Rufai Ahmed Akali, the Vice Chancellor, Prof. Muto Akonchi, and his able team for providing responsible and focused leadership in the smooth running of the university and for ensuring that the university is devoid of courtesy, rank, and other social masses. I want to commend all members of staff of the university for working together with the university management and for doing all within their power to ensure that the university continues to be globally recognized. To the government and the good people of Niger State, Thank you for all what you have done for the university. Finally, on behalf of the entire university community, I wish to say that our appreciation to the federal government is on uh, quantifiable. We have gotten this as far as institution for them, for many others, because of your. <laughs> Because of your support, permit me also to add that we shall continue to look up to you to maintain and set more pace for others to follow. Thank you all for your attention. Long live Federal University of Technology. Long live, long live the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That was the Chancellor F.U.T. Mina, His Royal Majesty, is the Eberechi Dick who has just been installed the third chancellor of the Federal University of Technology, MENA. He promised to build on the lofty achievements of his predecessors and be a bridge builder that will promote harmonious relationship between the university and its host communities, maintain peace and provide leadership and direction of the university. The chancellor also appreciated the honor done him with the confirmation of honorary doctorate degree honoris causa. Excellency is a visitor, President Muhammad Buhari, GCFR, Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces Federal Republic of Nigeria, ably represented by Mr. S.G. Chiga, Director of the Federal Ministry of Education, so the Director of the Federal Ministry of Science and Technology. His Excellency, the former President, General Ibrahim Barmasi Babangida, GCFR, who had wanted to be here personally, but could not make it because of other commitments. His Excellency, General Abdesara Abuakar, former head of state, DCFR, able represented by Alaji Umar, Ala Bakai, Barkwam Mina. Our chief host, His Excellency, the Honorable Governor of Niger State, our friend and brother, Alaji Abuakar Sani Bello, and other executive governors here are present. Distinguished senators and other members of the National and State Houses of Assembly here with us. 
The Honorable Minister of Science and Technology, T. Obonaya Olu, a distinguished leader in this country in his own capacity, and other members of the Federal Executive Council here present, former Deputy Governor of Abia State, who is also a member of the community where our Chancellor comes from, our dear Royal Father, the Royal Majesty, is a Brochi and Dicky JP, Chairman Abia Traditional Council of Chiefs, and the Chairman South East Traditional Council of Chiefs, His Royal Highness, and Chancellor of Abemi Awano University, Alaji Dr. Yaya Abubakar Ezunube CFR, and Chairman Niger State Council of Chiefs, other Royal Highnesses here present, especially our host, His Royal Highness the Emir of Mina, Alaji Umar Farouk Bahago, Pro Chancellors, Vice Chancellors of other sister universities here with us, other head of tertiary institutions, members of council, senate, and management of Federal University of Technology in Mina, members of the University alumni from all over the country who came to bear this occasion this morning, other members of staff and students of MUT Mina, our graduating students, parents and guardians, distinguished invited guests, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen. Let me first of all start by welcoming the visitor to the university, the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria, Its Excellency, Muhammad Buhari, this year, to this historic occasion of the 25th convocation ceremony of the Federal University of Technology, Mina. Since this is the first convocation of this university taking place since our visitor, President Muhammad Buhari took over the mantle of leadership of this great country last year, let me use this rare occasion too, on behalf of Council, Management staff and students of this university convey our special congratulations to him on his highly celebrated victory in last year's presidential elections. As the president assiduously steered the ship of the Nigeria state, let us all pray for his success and the continuous advancement and progress of Nigeria in the Committee of Emerging Democratic Nations. We have also seen this opportunity to congratulate our brother and friend and host the governor of Niger State, Alhaji Abubakar Sani Bello, on his victory in last year's election. As our chief host, we are indeed glad to welcome you and all members of your entrance to your own university, the NUT Mina, an institution that has, over the years since its establishment, worked very closely with the government and people of Niger State and has made its mark in the advancement of knowledge through research training, and community service. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, at this stage, permit me to welcome each and every one of you for sparing our time, energy, and resources to travel all the way to Minam to grace this occasion. No doubt, this year's convocation is unique, is unique in a number of ways. First, one of the times before us in today's ceremonies has been is the passing out of our young graduates and the award of certificates and prizes to deserving graduates and postgraduate students. Second, we are also welcoming our needs, the new chancellor of the university, a distinguished personality, a royal father, and a community leader, His Royal Majesty, as a ability, MD, JB, as a Udovan, of Mboko, Waga, Abesi, Autonomous Community Chairman, Southeast Council of Traditional Rulers, and Chairman, Abesi Council of Traditional Rulers. In fact, his presence here today is most significant because he it marks his first attendance of convocation ceremony since appointment as the Chancellor of this university. As part of our program today, we have just witnessed the formal installation of the Chancellor. The Royal Highness, the Royal Majesty, Eze Eberichi, MD. In addition, in recognition of his new position and status, our Chancellor has been conferred with the Honorable Doctoral Degree, Doctor of Science, Honorable Culture of the Federal University of Technology Bina. 
Congratulations, sir. This is what we call double honor to a man of honor with multiple honors. On behalf of council, the Senate, management, and the entire university community, I wish to congratulate you once again on your well-deserved appointment to this executive position and also on your confirming with the old doctor degree, Doctor of Science, Honorable Scholar of the Federal University of Technology in Milan. I also wish you success in the journey ahead. While celebrating our new chancellor and a man of destiny, let us also not forget to remember our former chancellor, the Oluo Wari, His Royal Majesty Dr. Gordon Emiko Ogiyame, at the second, who passed away in September last year, and that means he contributed immensely to the growth and development of this standard of learning. This is life. In our last year's conversation, he was very much with us. Today, he is no more. We truly miss him. May I, on behalf of the entire university community, once again, extend our heartfelt condolences to the government, the government, and people of a Delta State over this huge and irreparable loss. May his gentle soul rest in eternal peace. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, as we now turn our attention to the immediate task before us, let me say welcome once again. The fact that this university is today having its 25th convocation ceremony shows that it is coming of age. And we are so very happy to join the entire members of council, management, staff, and students of the university to congratulate our graduation students, their parents, guardians, on the successful completion of their studies. I am sure it was just like yesterday when most of these students received their admission to the university. The journey there must have been very tough and full of tension and uncertainty for most of you. The academic rigors must have made most of you feel like giving up the struggle in order to return to the warm comfort of your homes rather than continue to burn the midnight coming on the campus. But today I am sure you are all happy that you endure and work hard. On this auspicious occasion, we are happy to celebrate with you the result of your hard work, dedication, and perseverance. Today we will be confirmed with and handed over various degrees and certificates which are indicative of the effort you put in your academic work. However, I urge you to see all these degrees and grades as work in progress. In other words, you must see your graduation today not as an end of the journey. Rather, you must see today as the beginning of the beginning. You must write to the occasion always aspire to do better. This university, just like the fa your families and the country as a whole, want to see you continue growing and progressing academically, professionally, and otherwise. You cannot afford to disappoint us. Whatever wherever you find yourself, you must aspire to do the best. Give the best to the country. Nigeria, therefore, as you pass out of this university, I urge you not to be daunted, intimidated, or become complacent, but to move forward with real vigor in the service of your fatherland. Opportunities and challenges await you in the world ahead. Indeed, we are graduating at a time when our country is facing serious economic challenges. But your training in the past few years in this university has offered you unique abilities and capacities to confront and overcome these challenges of contemporary life. As you transit into the world of reality, please bear in mind that you must remain worthy ambassadors of MUT Mina, a university whose alumni have continued to distinguish themselves in all these endeavors. May the years of toil you endure to get this far bring joy and happiness to your families and to our dear nation. Once again, I congratulate the graduates, their parents, and all their relations. For those students remaining behind, I urge you to work even harder. You must avoid all the obstacles to educational progress and development. In particular, you must avoid the triple tragedies of examination malpractice, sectoral cultism, and extreme behaviors that are inconsistent with your family background and this university's code of conduct. We look forward together here and next year at this very prestigious convocation square to celebrate yet another set of graduates coming out with flying colors. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I wish to observe with satisfaction that over the years this university has cultivated a very good working relationship with the host community. It is a deep moment I wish to express our profound gratitude to the governor and government of Niger State. 
As you said, all are your priorities in changing the face and fortune of Niger State, Your Excellency, the Governor of Niger State. We look forward to a closer collaboration between your government and this university for the benefit of not only Niger State, but Nigeria as a whole. We also wish to convey our special appreciation to His Royal Highness, Alaji Dr. Yaya Abubakar Esunupe, the Chairman, Niger State Council of Traditional Rulers, our Royal Highnesses here present, especially our host, His Royal Highness, the Emir of Milan, Alaji Umar Faru Bahago, for your family support and guidance. I also wish to commend the Senate, the Banaimen, and the University led by the Vice Chancellor, Professor Musaba D, for their dedication to duty. In the same manner, I sincerely appreciate all members of the University Council, the congregation, and the entire staff of the University of Tehran for your hard work, dedication, commitment to the vision and the ideals of this university, which has continued to make the university grow from strength to strength. Mr. President, sir, Your Excellency, the Governor, and the distinguished personalities here present, may I conclude by thanking all of you for honoring us with your graceful presence at this occasion, and I wish you a safe journey back to your various destinations. Thank you for your kind attention. Thank you very much. Chancellor and Chairman of Council, Federal University of Technology, MENA, Professor Rufai Ahmed Al-Khali. He congratulated the graduates with various classes of degrees and certificates on the efforts put that culminated to today's ceremony, which the Chairman of Council described as the beginning of the beginning. He urged them to aspire to be the best and give their best to develop Nigeria. The graduates are also advised to avoid all obstacles to educational progress and development. Distinguished visitor, sir, I want to start on the existing protocol already beautifully established by the Pro Chancellor and Chairman of the Governing Council. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you all on this occasion marking the 25th convocation ceremony of the Federal University of Technology in Vienna for the investiture of our brand new chancellor, His Royal Majesty Eze Eberechi N.D. J.P. Eze Udo Wan of Ngoko Ngwa Amense Autonomous Community, Obingwa Local Government Area of Abia State, and the confirmment of degrees and award of prizes to our graduating students of the 2014-2015 set. We understand that other pressing state duties prevented our dear visitor from coming to Mina, but he has sent a worthy representative. We welcome in a special way the Honorable Minister of Science and Technology, Dr. Ogunaya Onu, who has spared the time to come and rejoice with us today. Our special appreciation goes to our most available host governor, His Excellency Alehaj Abubakar Sanibelu, and members of the State Executive Council. We are delighted to welcome the speaker and members of Niger State House of Assembly who have spared the time to celebrate with us today. We also most gladly welcome His Royal Highness Etsunupe, and Chairman of Niger State Council of Traditional Rulers, as well as Chancellor of Afemi Awolowo University, Ileife. We are equally delighted with the presence of our royal host, His Royal Highness, the Emir of Minam, and all the other royal fathers who accompany our Chancellor to this occasion. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we welcome His Royal Highness, Emir of Sulawesi Suleja, who, as Governor of Niger State, gave us the expanse of land where we now are. I welcome all visiting chancellors, vice chancellors, and chief executives of sister institutions who are also present at this occasion. We appreciate and welcome in a special way all our special invitees, guests, and friends of the university, our development partners, 
all our distinguished alumni and the parents and guardians of our food mineral students. I acknowledge and most sincerely thank our convocation lecturer, Professor John Olatunji Adeoti of the Nigerian Institute of Social and Economic Research, NISA Ibadi. His lecture yesterday titled Universities and the Challenge of Tackling Innovation Deficit in Nigeria was quite illuminating. It pointedly hit on the fabric of all that are wrong and right with our knowledge industry. We will ensure that it is widely circulated. It should, be, it should find use by our policy makers. If you will recall, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I hinted here at our last convocation ceremony our desire to continuously work and work in the tradition of world best. I affirmed on that occasion that banning all unforeseen circumstances we will keep to the tradition of holding convocation yearly for each graduating set so as to avoid combining two or more sets. We have, for that reason, and even more in the best tradition of universities across the world, instituted our Founders' Day, fittingly fixed for February, the month of our ban. Our idea of it is that while we are celebrating these youngsters, including among them their seniors who have come for postgraduate studies and haven't been brewed in the best of our tradition and found worthy of our certificates, we can take time off to reflect, take stock, and ruminate on the future. This is essentially why we are here today. On this note, we are most glad to have within us the Foundation Vice Chancellor of this university, Professor Jonathan Ndagi. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, this convocation ceremony is coming a few months after the demise of our immediate past chancellor, His Royal Majesty Godwin Toriseju Ayomigbe Misi Emiku, CFR Ogiame Atuase II, the late Kulu of Wari. He was an easygoing individual who never for once exerted undue influence on the university. If anything, his elegance and influence quite rubbed off on this university. The university community is pained by his unfortunate loss. We share the grief of his loss with the immediate family, the whole of his kingdom, and the good people of Delta State. We pray that His Royal Majesty, through the mercy of God, will rest in perfect peace. Amen. It is on, on the weight of this loss that our new Chancellor, Eze Eberechi Ndik JP, Eze Udo One of the Ngoko Ngwa Amese Autonomous Community, is devoting today. On behalf of the university community, I once again welcome our royal father and his entourage to the peaceful city of Mena. The only thing that I can say for now is, if it is true that we are preceded by our reputations, then this university is doubly blessed for his royal headship. His reputation has indeed preceded him. We have been inundated with the nobility and moral decency of Eze Udawan as chairman of Abia State as well as Southeast Council of Traditional Rulers. We are confident that His Majesty will bring his wealth of experience to bear on this university. The distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the year 2015 has been a very fulfilling one for us, both in terms of tempo of academic activities and the welter of achievements recorded across units, departments, and schools. To the glory of God, we have never stopped growing, be it in numbers of students, numbers of undergraduate and postgraduate programs, numbers of courses, as well as research programs, and, I must add, numbers of infrastructural facilities. We owe our gratitude to the Federal Ministry of Education the National Universities Commission, various governmental and non-governmental agencies, especially the Tertiary Education Trust Fund, the Petroleum Technology Development Fund, and other agencies whose support has taken us this far. We are also grateful to the German Ministry of Education and Research for its funding of our West African Science Service Center on Climate Change and Adapted Land Use. On 2015, our 2015 annual report 
offers an introspective perspective of an institution committed to promoting academic excellence through autonomous intellectual rigor, as well as sustained collaboration and partnerships. We have kept our vision for a robust academic development. And I'm glad to report that we have made substantial progress in moving this university forward. An appraisal of our achievements during the past academic session points to an impressive range of research accomplishments, awards, and prizes recorded individually and jointly by our staff across schools, departments, and centers. These achievements would not have been possible without the support and cooperation of our staff and students and the backing of the university's government council under the able leadership of our indefatigable pro-chancellor, Professor Mufai Ahmed Ankari. I should assure this audience, this august audience, that this administration is determined to continue with our positive transformation initiative to the best of our ability and within the limits of available resources. I won't bore you enumerating our achievements in the past year, but rather share a compendium of our scorecard as enumerated in our annual report. It is titled, Keeping Faith with Our Vision. We have delayed its release to coincide with this occasion. We will distribute it before you leave this arena. On this note, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I want to turn my attention to our graduating students. I want to congratulate all of you on this occasion and to celebrate with you, your parents, guardians, and relations. It gladdens my heart that your years of hard work and toil have resulted in the joyous occasion we are witnessing today. I pray that God, in his mercy, will give you direction, purpose, and perseverance as you enter the next phase of your lives. He will give you clearness of mind to move forward into the plans and purpose that he alone has for you. But there is no doubt that occasions like this call for a reflection. At a time of grave economic crisis ravaging our country, several posters must be raging in the minds of our graduating students. What value would this degree add to the one's personal or the search for a job? Is any a degree an end in itself or a means to an end? With more than 100,000 graduates being churned out of nation's special institutions yearly, the apprehension insidiously eating up some of those gathered here today is quite understandable. My take, though, is that any a degree is not an end in itself, but a means to unleashing the immense potentials dominant in the human spirit. We have imbibed in you basic entrepreneurial skills that will always come handy. By imbibing this entrepreneurial spirit, rather than wait for an elusive white collar job, our graduates who have used their degrees to serve themselves and humanity. At the end of today's epic gathering, and no matter what path our graduates choose to plod, it is my belief that our university degree will be deployed to make the world a better place for all of us. Perhaps there's something that I need to add. As from this academic session, we are ensuring that all our final year students concretely target their individual final year projects at solving particular human problems. In this wise, we are instituting an, an, an annual school-wide competition that is intended to stimulate research and identify body inventors among them. We see this as a marker of our differentiation and as a way of sustaining our academic reputation as a leading research university. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, that our staff led the path in the Tech Fund Institution-Based Research Intervention Grant. I am sure the National Communications Commission will always attest to the fact that we are the university to beat in research efforts. It was recently reported that out of 37 research proposals received by SEC from across the country, 13 were se selected. It was heartwarming to know that six out of these 13 
came from this university. <laughs> Mr. Richard Osai, the total number of our graduates for 2014-2015 academic session is 3,505. Out of this, 2,787 are graduating with first degree. 220 with postgraduate diplomas, 464 with master's degree, and 34 with doctor of philosophy degrees. Out of the first degree category, there are 34 in the first class. 733 second class upper division, 1,308 in second class lower division, 638 third class, Y74 have past degrees. The convoking students today are the graduates of our schools of agriculture and agricultural technology, engineering and engineering technology, environmental technology, entrepreneurship and management technology, information and communication technology, life sciences, physical sciences, and science and technology education. Graduates from three of our affiliated institutions, Federal College of Education Technical, APOCA, Federal College of Education Technical, Forti School, and Cardinal Polytechnic are also included. I am happy to inform convocation that, as in the previous years, all these graduates will be presented with their certificates immediately after this ceremony. We have promised from 2014 that we will ensure that not a day will be wasted after convocation before certificates are presented to our graduates. It is a price we owe our distinguished soon-to-be alumni so that they will have a founder memory of their alma mater. They can only reciprocate this by being good ambassadors of our university. Your Excellency, the Visitor, Honorable Minister of Science and Technology, our respected Chancellor and Chairman of Convocation, His Excellency, Governor of Niger State, Visiting Pro Chancellors, Members of Council and Senate of FUT Union, our Royal Fathers, my, spirit, my Lord Spiritual and Temporal, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I cannot end this Convocation address without expressing my sincere appreciation to members of the Governing Council, members of Senate, members of Convocation of this University, for the support and cordial relationship that existed, that this administration has enjoyed over the years. All our staff and students also deserve commendation for their commitment to our maintenance of a stable, steady, and progressive academic calendar. I should assure you, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, that the university management under my watch shall continue to do our best to help promote and sustain this healthy tradition. I'm grateful to all of you for your presence at this occasion and now for your support to the university. I thank you all. God bless you. That was the Vice Chancellor of the Federal University of Technology, Mina, Professor Musbao Adeu Miyakoji, who enumerated achievements. He acknowledged the support of the Federal Ministry of Education, the National Universities Commission, governmental and non-governmental agencies, as well as the German Ministry of Education and Research for the funding of the West African Science Service Center on Climate Change and Adapted Land Use in the University. He assured the audience of his administration's determination to continue with the Positive Transformation Initiative. Vice Chancellor and Vice Chancellor, the Honorable Minister for Science and Tech, our Royal Fathers who are present, let me take refuge on the established protocols. Uh, His Excellency, the Governor of our State, would have been here personally to deliver his uh, good message. But 
is aware of official duties. He has asked me to send his warmest greetings and congratulations to this university that is doing very well and to congratulate our brother, friend, and father, His Royal Majesty, as a British and who is being installed or has been installed in the Chancellor of this great university, and to congratulate the Vice Chancellor for the numerous achievements so far recorded by the institution. Um, on behalf of the State University, the Governor of the States, I wish you well, wish you many more productive years ahead. Thank you. The visitor represented by the Director of Technology and Science Education, Federal Minister of Education, the Honorable Minister Science and Technology, Honorable Speaker, Members, Majesty House of Assembly, his Royal Majesty, New Councillor F.U.T. Mina, the Pro Chancellor and Chairman of Council, former Deputy Governor of Abia State, Representative of His Excellency the Governor of Abia State, the Vice Chancellor, Principal Officers, and Members of Council of FUT Mina, Honorable Commissioners, Special Advisors, Chief of Staff present, members of Niger State Security Council, our Royal Fathers, members of Diplomatic Corps, distinguished invited guests, parents and guardians, members of media, ladies and gentlemen. I am very pleased to be part of the 25th Convocation Ceremony of Federal University of Technology, MINA. And as Chief Host, I wish to, on behalf of the good people of Niger State, join others to welcome you all to this auspicious occasion. I commend my brother, the Vice Chancellor, Professor Muspao Adeumi Akanji for having sustained the culture of qualitative science and technical education in this institution over these years of his dedicated leadership. Similarly, I congratulate the Senate, staff and students, especially those students that are convocating today for having been found worthy in character and learning to earn your various degrees. It must be a very proud moment for you all. Chasing a dream requires good efforts and passion. Meanwhile, you need to know that hard work is not over when you graduate. It is just a break as you enter the new battlefields of life. As you graduate from the university, therefore, 
You have to prepare for the new challenges waiting in the new chapter of life. I challenge you all to bring your learning experiences to bear in solving societal problems. It is my belief that someone as special as you has the ability to create a beautiful world of tomorrow. This brings me to the issue of the need to encourage the development of synergies and collaborations between institutions of higher learning and the host communities. My view is premised on the need to create direct use for such findings. When we mutually strengthen and explore initiatives towards advancing ways of combating research results and findings to solving problems in new ways, we can guarantee improvement of lives of our people. This is necessary because any academic research that has no direct bearing on improving the lives of the people cannot be a worthy one. In this regard, Niger State Government, under my leadership, is desirous of collaborating with this university in the areas of enhancing our vast agricultural and solid minerals development. There is no doubt the value chain in our agriculture and solid mineral sector in Niger State has the potential to contribute immensely in elevating poverty through job creation for our Timi youth and women groups. We are eager to strengthen synergy between state-owned higher institutions, federal and private universities in terms of the focus, quality of the products and services. It suffices to state that on our part, we are concluding arrangements to start medical science courses at IBBU University, and the committee is already working out modalities for the establishment of a college of nursing sciences in Kotogora, amongst other initiatives. Perhaps I need to further emphasize our approach that rather than have a replication of state universities all over the country offering common courses to prospective students, we could adopt the strategic development of universities along areas of specialization such that each institution can be identified with specific expertise while strengthening linkages with similar institutions locally and internationally. This way, we will be able to properly deploy resources in establishing the best institutions that will serve specific needs of our society, thereby reducing the production of unemployable graduates. Once more, I welcome you all to the 25th Convocation Ceremony of unarguably one of the emerging flagship of science and technical education in Nigeria, Federal University of Technology, Mina. I thank you all and God bless. Governor of Niger State, Governor Abakasani Sani Bello, the host governor. He commended the university for sustaining technological education over the years. He also advised the graduates to prepare for the new challenges, even as he challenged them to bring to bear their knowledge and skills on the outside world. Excellency, 
the governor of Niger State, I had the honor of Sunny Bello, members of the National Assembly here present, Chief Judge of Niger State, all members of the Federal and State Judiciary here present, Honorable Minister of Science Technology, Dr. Bonaya Olu, Executive Secretary, National University Commission, W represented. Chancellor, former University of Technology Lima, and Chairman of the State and Southeast Council of Traditional Rulers, His Royal Majesty, Eve Bellachi, and DK JP. Chancellor of Buffalo Academy University, Elaise, and Chairman, Niger State Traditional Rulers Council. His Royal Highness, Esmute Alhaji Dr. Yaya Abubakar, CFR. Our Royal Host, Emir Nima. His Royal Highness, Alhaji Nimal Farouk Bahadu. All our Royal Highness here present. Pro Chancellors, Vice Chancellors of other universities, and heads of other tertiary institutions here present. Heads of military and military forces here present, former vice chancellors here present, members of councils, senates, and congregation of the Federal University of Technology in Lima. Other members of staff and students of Federal University of Technology in Lima. Our graduating students, their parents and guardians, distinguished invited guests, Gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the address of the visitor, His Excellency Manolo Buhari, GCFR, President and Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria. Please, I want you to see 
your certificates not just as a real ticket, but as a testimony to your character and ability to make the society a better place. You are now better placed to make yourselves families and fatherland proud. The turn of events that witnessed last year in our country's democracy gives hope that democracy has come to stay in Nigeria. But we should know that without this unity, the government will continue to elude us. I therefore urge you all to be committed to a peaceful and a united Nigeria. Despite the differences in tribe and religion, you stood together, you lived together, died and played together, and therefore urge you to sustain the friendships and links that you have established here. It is good for you, it is good for our country. As you all know, our administration came to power in the promise of change. Changing our society from the path of corruption in high and low places is a path we all must be committed to. It is not a magic one that a single leader alone can use. We all have to believe in it and we have to work for it. Indeed, incorporating the values of honor, integrity, and discipline are essentially the duty of the family and educational institutions. Our role as leaders is to be the best examples of possible of all we have been taught by these two vital agents of socialization. In this administration, we are determined to remain the best examples for our citizens. Consequently, for teachers, it is for you to ensure that you discharge your duties with the fear of God and the interest of fatherland. Students should get the grades they deserve where they earn it. And they should not get the grades they do not deserve where they have not earned it. Similarly, students should not expect high grades when they have failed to put in the needed efforts. Certainly, we need value reorientation as far as the pursuit of higher education is concerned. Our team with who seek higher education should do so for the functional purpose of contributing to personal and societal economic development, as well as to acquire knowledge for knowledge's sake. Not to merely acquire certificates for the sake of feeling better than those who do not have such certificates. Indeed, our education will be limitless if it does not advance the cause of humanity. That is why we want to build a Nigeria where citizens with competencies will be proud of themselves and their country can attain heights because of what they know and can deliver, not because of who they know or whose children they are. Ladies and gentlemen, 32 years ago, when faith first thrust the mantle of leadership of our country in my hands, I did say that Nigeria is the only country that we have and that we should all serve it together. Today, I make the same call. Let us join hands together to make our country great again. At this juncture, I salute the mission of my predecessors for establishing and sustaining these specialized universities in Nigeria. Our administration recognizes the importance of science and technology education in national development. In my own address to the nation, I did say that for the long term, we have to improve the standards of, educate, of our education. So far, that is what we have set out to do. As can be seen in our 2016 budget proposal, education takes the highest part of our required expenditure. This is because our government recognizes the sector as providing critical service. To address the challenges of shortage of teachers and graduate unemployment, we are targeting to recruit 500,000 teachers, graduates, and SE holders this year. 
some of you may wish to make use of that avenue. This administration is placing a high premium on agriculture. As such, our facilities, for our faculties of agriculture must no longer be dumping grounds for those who fail to gain admission into the so-called more lucrative programs. Our decision to invest in infrastructure to support reforms in agriculture and solid mineral sector for our economic development offers an opportunity to specialize in investing like FET Minima, to strengthen the relevant programs and faculties for all overall national development. In this regard, I look forward to a win-win synergy between the universities on the one hand and government and industry on the other. I call on the private sector to join in strengthening research and development in these areas. We are making substantial investment in training programs at all levels of education system. Once again, I congratulate the graduating students, parents, guardians, and the entire members of the Federal University of Techn Technology, MENA. I wish the new graduates success in their future endeavors. Long live the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you and God bless. That was the visitor to the university, President Muhammad Buhari, represented. He challenged universities in Nigeria to be up and doing in the grooming of graduates to meet the immediate needs of the nation. He specifically commended FUT Mina for establishing the School of Entrepreneurship and Management Technology, where the students are groomed to be employers of labor. The visitor urged the lecturers to discharge their duties with the fear of gold and called for reorientation in the pursuit of higher education. Even as he looks forward to a Nigeria, where merit will be considered in all facets of life and not by who one knows. Will these graduating students in the School of Agriculture and Agricultural Technology please stand? And as you stand, remove your caps from your head. Honorable Chancellor, I present the graduates standing before you and those who are unavoidably absent for whom I stand proxy and who have successfully completed their Bachelor of Technology examinations and have been found worthy both in Canada and in London, to be awarded the degree of Bachelor of Technology of the Federal University of Technology, Milan. Senate, I award you all of several the degree of Bachelor of Agriculture, Technology of the Federal University of Technology.
of the cards to the lights. And please be seated. And now call on Dean, School of Engineering and Engineering Technology, Professor Sadi Kusalao to present his graduating students. Will the graduating students in the School of Engineering and Engineering Technology please stand? And as you do so, please remove your cap. Chancellor, I present the graduates standing before you and those who are unavailably absent for whom I stand proxy and who have successfully completed their Bachelor of Engineering degree examinations and have been found worthy, both in character and in learning, to be awarded the degree of Bachelor of Engineering of the Federal University of Technology, MENA. for whom I stand proxy and who have successfully completed their Bachelor of Technology degree examinations and have been found worthy, worthy both in character and in learning to be awarded the degree of Bachelor of Technology of the Federal University of Technology, MENA. Chancellor, I present the graduates standing before you 
and those who are unavoidably absent, for whom I stand proxy, and who have successfully completed their Bachelor of Technology degree examinations and have been found worthy, both in character and in learning, to be awarded the degree of Bachelor of Technology of the Federal University of Technology, Mini.
the degree of bottle of technology of the Federal University of Technology mean? Congratulations. You may now raise your cards, wear them and play the tassel of the cards to the left and please be seated. Chancellor Sir, I now have the privilege to call on the Dean School of Physical Sciences, Professor Agua Kasadaoki, to present his graduating student. Graduating students in the School of Physical Sciences, please stand. As you stand, please remove your cap. Honorable Chancellor, I present the graduates standing before you and those who are unavailably absent for whom I stand proxy and who have successfully completed their Bachelor of Technology degree examinations and have been found worthy both in character and in learning, to be awarded the degree of Bachelor of Technology of the Federal University of Technology in MENA. By the authority of Senate, I award you all of several the degree of Bachelor of Technology of the Federal University of Technology. Congratulations. For the graduates, please raise your caps, wear them, and place the tassels of the caps to the left, and then you can be seated.